After watching this video, you will be an expert in the field of smartphone photography. And I actually mean it. With the upcoming apps, you can take your photography game to a whole lot newer level. Hey what's up guys, this is Ashwin and let's get right into the video. Since some days, there's been a lot of craze going on for these so-called cinematographs which require a lot of skills and time to create. That's why I have an app which will make the job easy for you. The name of the app is Vimage. It works exactly as the name says. It allows you to add animated elements into the image and turn it into a cinematograph. Opening the app, there are some images created by the artists worldwide. Photos can be selected from the gallery or from the tons of stock photos available. After you selected the photo, you are taken into the editing page. Some basic adjustments can be done to the photo to enhance it before adding effects to it. Next step is to choose the effects you want to add into an image. At default, there will be some 4 to 5 effects present in the panel. But you can also add the effects created by others by pressing the plus sign. All the good things comes with the price. Don't get me wrong, there is a free version of the app which works fine but if you want your images in HD quality, then you need to subscribe to the app which in my case is a very small amount. There is also a free trial for 7 days so you can decide after you try the app. Moving further, next in the list we have an app which is a camera app named the Mix Camera. It's a fully manual camera app with some interesting functions up its sleeves. It has 6 modes in total like the short video, video, photo, full screen and manual mode which functions as it's named. The manual mode is very much flexible. ISO, white balance, exposure can easily be adjusted. The highlighted functions of the app are some minor features which can make a huge difference in the photo. For example, it has a dedicated mode for food photography, which basically focuses only on the food and blurs the rest, giving it a professional feel. There are many similar features like Vignette, Mirror, Touch and many more. Explaining them separately might take too long. It's a must-have camera app, you should have installed it on your phone at all times. Let me know whether you like this type of videos. Comment yes if you like so that I can make more of such videos. Up next in the list we have an app named Fuse. It's an app which lets you take 3D picture of any object. First simply create an account and login where you can find the 3D images of different objects posted by different users. This is somewhat similar to the social media apps where you maintain your account by adding photos. Different users can also be searched and followed if needed. To create a 3D image, click on the circle at the center where the capture button appears. Now press the record button and move the phone simply in the direction displayed on the screen. Don't worry, the app gives you some prompts if you mess up, so there won't be any such problem caused. The capture image will be stored in the gallery. If required, you can easily make it public by posting it in the app. Though being just a 3D camera, it's just much more interesting while using it. Next in the list, we have yet another camera app. This here is a complete manual app unlike the app we saw earlier. Obviously, it has all the basic adjustments such as the ISO, white balance and exposure. In addition to this, there exist some essential features which makes this app even more interesting. It's a function named Torch which enables the flashlight to turn on throughout which acts as an external light source like the softboxes. Focus towards an object can be fixed, logged or turned into macro to get some amazing shots. Personally, this is one among my favorite camera apps out there which gets the job done freely and did I mention that it also has a slider on the screen to conveniently zoom in or out into the object. On the top left screen of the mobile, the timings and the available RAM is displayed which actually was not necessary but nevertheless no harm is caused in doing so. These are some images shot using the manual functions of the app. If used accordingly this itself is a very good tool to achieve brilliant images. The final app on the list is Hypocam. 
Using this, amazing black and white photos can be clicked. It's a simple and fun app which turns everything into grayscale. Though it being simple, this too has some themes named with the colors, which alters the intensity of the filters at different sections, having different color when a filter is chosen. Some filters are included in the pack which works well and the rest can be obtained by paying the amount, which according to me is not worth as high quality photos can even be obtained by using the free filters. To get the right photo, hang around and play with the settings until you find a sweet spot that gets you clicked awesome photos. This is it, nothing more to explain about the app. It's more of a practical app, so try experimenting with it. So that was it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If yes, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button for more of such content. This is Ashwin signing off. Peace.